the energetics of the emotions in the mental are behind physical blockages. So imagine that physical blockages are a little bigger and then the emotional and mental ones are a little smaller. Sometimes it's hard to clear some of those mental, emotional energies when the physical blockages, the bigger blockages are in the way. You get a cut, what do you need to do really? It heals itself. If there's something in the way, it gets infected or it doesn't heal properly, or it heals more slowly. So all I started focusing on is what can we get out of the way? Because the rest of this is happening naturally. So for me, that was like, woo, let's do this. Because then there's no, no effort. There's so little efforting. I don't have to effort. And I did enough of that. When I realized it could be this easy, it was like, oh, like being able to breathe out after holding your breath for years and years and years but like this piece about food think about what is mentally attached to it what is emotionally attached to food what is habitual Stephen, you shared you know breakfast lunch dinner eat till full really what happens if we question that so dropping food was a gradual thing. And all of a sudden I realized after, I don't know, a couple months, I was doing less than 500 calories a day, not losing any weight, incredible energy, incredible energy. Like, what am I gonna do with myself? I don't really need to sleep. Everybody else is sleeping. The world is dark. What do I do? I'm not gonna sit on my computer the whole time. So I needed to, um, I didn't need to, but I found myself finding other things to do and just reprogramming the whole thing. So those, all those pieces, dropping them or working through them or something working through it um, has just landed me here where there's either eating or there isn't, and it doesn't matter anymore. And when I'm in really pristine places, like the tops of the mountains, that's when something kicks in. It's like, oh, this is like a huge meal. You know, this is like Thanksgiving meal. And it's so incredibly invigorating and recharging. But it's something that's happened over time. Again, getting those things out of the way, dropping mostly more than anything. Just, you know, for people who want, who are inspired and want to get started. Um on a path toward greater freedom from food and medical systems uh, on this type of, you know, path toward themselves in a different way, like you've been describing, knowing there are different places that people are beginning. What would you recommend? Honestly, the very first thing that they can do is start adding some fresh lemon or lime to their water. Um, that right there brings a, another level of energy and life to our systems. Add a little honey because that's going to keep your adrenals and fuel you in a really powerful way. Um, and then start checking it out energetically what's available. So if I'm breathing, am I just taking an oxygen? What else is in that oxygen? What else is available to me in this space, this energetic space around me that I can imagine or I can intuit or I can feel inspired to receive or recognize? Because recognizing is a big part of it. If you started with that and the living water, you're already ahead of the majority of individuals that are oriented towards health. But if you could pick it from a tree or pull it from the ground or gather it, uh, work towards that slowly but surely. Start adding more of that into your life because they're energy signatures that are in a form of transportation. And really absorb that. Really chew lots to get all the energy that you can out of that. That's a lot of things already. Just that is enough to do for most people. But that's why I do the work that I do, because that's all I do. Now, I, I try and get rid of as much technology background work as I, as I can, but that's why I distill the medical medium information and I share my story so that one, we know what's possible. And two, we have a bit of a pathway to work towards that. 
I don't necessarily think medical medium is the only pathway for everyone. I really work at detaching. Um, I have people that, you know, stage four cancer and they come and they start and then they realize they don't really want to do this anymore. And so we go into trend, uh, conscious transition because I'm not attached to the physical body either. It doesn't matter to me. It, it's about you listening to what's right for you. Because And the difference between the food in the beginning, medical medium, and towards the end, I talk about a three-phase process. The, to begin with, you're recovering your liver. To begin with, you're bringing things into balance. After that, it's about cleaning up all the accumulation. And we don't have to eat this much food in order to get all the nutrients in order to do these processes later on because we've done them. We've done them and medical medium doesn't cover that. He's still helping people get into the system. He's still helping people get onto fruits and vegetables. He's still helping people understand the concepts, the root issues to a lot of problems. He doesn't help people after that really. And I've taken so many people through the process that I've been able to work out or into it, or it's been shared with me how to help people just keep going on the path. So they're not in kitchen jail forever. It'll get us from over here to where we realize we don't really need food the same way we thought we did. And we can drop those fears because we're proving to ourselves that I didn't do water for four days. Isn't it three days that you can go without water? No food, no water for four days. And I know individuals that have done it for a long time, way longer, like months and months and months, no food, no water. They didn't die. So if that's a possibility, my questions have the ability to give me information about what else is possible. When you can get joy out of your heart beating, because you can feel it because you're not so full in your stomach over here on the left side, you can feel your heart beating and you know that you didn't have to do anything for that to happen. When you can get extreme joy out of knowing that you can handle hot and cold temperatures without struggling or suffering. When you can get complete joy out of just being with your friends, no talking, no anything, no eating. You can gaze in their eyes. You can close your eyes. You can just resonate in the energy of it. Why wouldn't we? <laughs>